Hello, welcome back to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Mr. Joshua, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. Today, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of transport in plants. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. The cross sections of the stem of plants A and plant B are shown below. Gary removed a 1 cm ring around each stem and put the plants into beakers of water. The amount of water in each container is the same at the start of the experiment. Now what the question is asking us is to compare the amount of water that's left in the container with plant A with the amount of water that's left in a container with plant B. Now let's focus on the diagram at the top first. What are the tubes that you can find on the outer ring? It is the food carrying tubes. And what are the tubes that you can find on the inner ring? It is the water carrying tubes. Now there's an acronym I like to teach my students in order to tell them where the water carrying tubes and food carrying tubes are in a plant. Does anyone know what this acronym is? So Mr. Joshua likes to think of this acronym like the plant's own version of Wi-Fi because it sounds very similar to Wi-Fi. It is WIFO. So what does WIFO stand for? WIFO stands for water inside, food outside. So let's take a look at plant A first. The question tells us that Gary removed a 1 cm ring around the stem of plant A. So let's highlight the area that he removed. It is this area over here. Does anyone know what tubes are being removed when Gary removed the 1 cm ring around the stem of plant A? He is removing all of the food carrying tubes, which means that all of the water carrying tubes are still intact. So let's write this down. So let's move on to plant B. Now, plant B looks very different from plant A, correct? So do you think we can use WIFO to tell us where the water carrying tubes and food carrying tubes are in this plant? Definitely not. So Mr. Joshua likes to imagine that plant B is a plant that you can find very, very deep in a jungle. And in a jungle, would you have any access to Wi-Fi? No, right? You wouldn't be able to scroll through your YouTube, you can't scroll through TikTok because there's no Wi-Fi. Which is why I like to say that plant B does not have any Wi-Fi. So when Gary removed a 1cm ring around the stem of plant B, which is this area I'm going to highlight in red, this time, is he only removing the food carrying tubes? No, some of the water carrying tubes are also being removed, which means that only some water carrying tubes remain intact. Let's write this down. Now for plant B, can we count how many water carrying tubes are still intact? There's one, two, and three. Therefore, for plant B, there's only three water carrying tubes still intact. Now what about plant A? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for plant A, there are eight water carrying tubes still intact. Now between plant A and plant B, which plant has more water carrying tubes still intact? It is plant A. So let's write this down. Plant A has more water carrying tubes. Which means, would plant A be able to transport more or less water from the roots to the leaves? It will be able to transport more water. So therefore, since plant A is able to transport more water, would the container with plant A have less or more water remaining at the end of the five days? Now for the students who are unable to visualize this, let me give you an example. Let's say Mr. Joshua has two identical cups. The cup on the left, let's call it cup A, and the cup on the right, let's call it cup B. Now one day, Mr. Joshua is very, very thirsty. So he pours an equal amount of grape Fanta into both of these cups. Now the difference between cups A and cup B is that for cup A, I have three straws like this. While cup B, I only have one straw. So when Mr. Joshua drinks from both of these cups with an equal amount of force, which cup would have less grape Fanta remaining? It will be cup A. That's because cup A has more straws, meaning that it will be able to transport more grape Fanta from the cup to my mouth. So similarly, because plant A has more water carrying tubes, it will be able to transport more water, leaving the amount of water left in the container with plant A to be less than the container with plant B. So the way to answer this question is we have to take a look at all the options and see which option tells us that the amount of water left in the container with plant A is less than the amount of water left in the container with plant B. And there's only one option that tells us this, and that is option number two. So therefore, the correct answer for this question is option number two. 
Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!